Hey everyone, welcome to my city layout, roads and uh, public transport tutorial. Uh, firstly, what I'm going to discuss is in terms of city layouts. Uh, you might be looking around the net that you have a lot of beautifully designed cities and they look really nice and uh, really great and you'd really love to have a city that looks uh, that good and uh, lay, uh, have a similar layout that way and uh, be able to generate some money. Now the majority of cities that are designed and uh, made on the internet are uh, made and uh, designed just for that purpose uh, for uh, the looks. The majority of those cities are built up using cheats so uh, they're actually designers playing the game. They're, in, they're not really playing it for playing the game. Uh, they're in a way designing the cities that they like it to look like so that's why you have a lot of beautiful cities designed in certain ways and really I do believe 95% of all videos on YouTube show off these you can say uh, exhibitory cities so uh, anyways that aside if you do want to make a city just for the looks uh, good luck with that as well and uh, it's going to be substantially more harder to do that it'll take a lot of money uh, but uh, you could actually start the designing in terms of making a design to using of course uh, cheats to get all the tokens and requirements up so you can get uh, that uh, beautifully designed city up and running now uh, currently uh, my layout what i do and i would recommend you guys to follow it so far it has uh, uh, allowed me to reach to the end game sort of stages of the game itself and uh in uh, this actual game itself, uh, the layout, what I would recommend, if you are building farms, it is highly recommended when you build the farms uh, that you actually place the buildings on one side. As you can see, I only have the buildings on one side and you have them in a square. I usually build a road in the middle of the green and I build farms on both sides and have, of course, uh, the buildings on both sides. Why, you ask? Because then you can have uh, bus stops that go through here and uh, pick up all and drop off all the people for these farms. So it's pretty effective and it really does cut down drastically the traffic. So don't place them randomly all over the place. Uh, this is a very good tip in terms of uh, building up your farms the most effective way as possible. As you can see, I have the same thing here and I have one green patch here, which I'll probably cut into two pieces. I'll probably cut the top part. Let's take a look at the resources fertile farms i'd probably make a road here so i'd have farm up and farm down and i'd probably stick another road here and means have farm up and farm down so this would literally be split into two halves to get that road and uh, to get it the most effective way as possible now this is in terms of placing down your farm layout now in terms of placing down your housing that being unskilled skilled and uh, executives what would be the most effective layout to place them down well i found the most effective layout is actually first of all your housing of course you do have each you have four different classes and each class is uh, low medium and high density of course the higher density you go it means the higher density you go the more population in that one block in that one building low maybe has 10 people in it but high density maybe has a thousand people in it i'm just throwing numbers here i don't know exactly how many people live in the damn building but high density is the highest populated it means you're throwing down literally skyscrapers and big apartment blocks now for the most effective way in a building layouts for your actual all uh, the classes that being unskilled skilled and executives and elites is a building a four four block uh, four block uh, lengthwise as uh, the traffic is uh, the most effective way i do and in, in my experience is the most effective way around it now when you right click on your square you see you get defining zones so uh, usually four block is substantially good this is still in my old old uh, sort of uh, gameplay style when I did start this is in my city excel when I started off I still didn't know how to exactly play the most effective way as possible so here you have five blocks but uh, here you have five blocks but uh, when I got back to the city I did sort of uh, remember how I used to play a couple of years back and I did fix it up and as you can see all these are four blocks now why you ask four blocks is the best well you could build a 10 block length uh, district as well. The issue with this is when you do build a 10 block length district that you need all the, all the citizens on uh, this 10 block, let's just build it for the sake of building it, will uh, be having to go all the way around. Now you can imagine if you're going to have all 10 blocks, 10 blocks, 10 blocks, all these citizens are going to be forced to use the single road. Like no matter how big the road you get, it's going to get so cramped with traffic, it's terrible. It's terrible. I would not recommend you build uh, such a large block uh, placements because uh, the traffic that you get is uh, very huge, especially when you start getting into the medium and high density blocks. You know, you could go for the five, but I still find five a little bit too big and a little bit inefficient. 
Uh, the least traffic I do get is uh, when I do place the four blocks. That also for my skilled workers, you know, there's still a little bit of fives, but for my executives already, I learned my lesson from doing the mistakes. And as you can see, I only have four blocks and for my executives again, four blocks. Of course, uh, when you do place uh, down these uh, block compartments, uh, I always do place down, I always sort of make a one, like I place down, for example, this block, I place down one, one four block up, one four block down, and then one four block down, and I keep the center empty so I know, uh, so I know the exact space, so then I build the road, so it means I place this block first, and then I place the second block here, let me give you an example, over the one I built. So I'd place this block first, up, you know, hold on, let's go back to our four build, and uh, large revenue, so I'd place uh, this block first, which would place me the four, Okay, and then I'd place another four down here, and then I'd place another four down here, leaving the center empty. Then I'd build the road down, and I'd stick all my leisures and parks and all the other stuff in the middle. You know, always plan ahead. It means always keep a uh, sort of, when you're expanding, keep a, a position that you'd sort of think would be the central point for all your services and uh, uh, commerce and all the stuff that the citizens need. And in terms of that, uh, the same applies for the other section. As you can see, I have in the center, I sort of made one block here and two blocks here with all the city services and la di da di da all the other stuff, all the goodies that they want. Of course, to know what, how to make the leisures and city services and so on and so forth, you can actually check my tutorial in the playlist below. That should cover pretty much everything. And give it some time, more and more tutorials will be showing up there as time goes by. Now, uh, this is pretty much it in terms of building the layouts for all the classes. As I said, four block. Always you can make, again, the four block in the center, but instead of placing the actual buildings there, you just uh, place your actual uh, city services and ledgers. Like here, I finally did it properly. As you can see, it looks nice. I have one four block here as a mixture of stuff. I have another one here as a mixture of stuff, and I'm starting to place a little up there as well. And I do have one in the center, and... Uh, this one is in the center, as you can see here, I have my city services and leisures in the middle. So it really fits into the exact middle and it really does cover as much as possible. So uh, this is in uh, terms of uh, placing down how to, how to make the layouts. Now, in terms of roads, it is key to understand when you start off, it really depends. Now when I'm playing, I always set my actual gameplay to expert. So when you go to the options menu, you go to options, you go to miscellaneous, you have expert mode on. If you're still not used to the gameplay and you're playing uh, in accordance to unlocking achievements and unlocking your buildings, you're going to have to always redestroy the stuff and rebuild it again because when you have roads, each road has a different capacity. When you move your uh, mouse on top of the road, you see it has a maintenance cost of one credit and maximum car flows 10 cars per minute. Now, obviously, if I go to the larger roads, it's going to have 80 cars per minute, but it costs me already eight credits and not one credit. And of course, the largest bloody highway is an expressway. It's 18 credits per, uh, per actual block and it's 160 cars per minute. Now, what roads do you place down? Yes, freight supposedly, in a way, is affected uh, for you guys that might be thinking about that. Oh, I'm going to place expressways everywhere to improve my freight. That doesn't help as well. Check my tutorial out for freight. That'll explain why. Uh, freight is really uh, very minimally affected by the actual roads you place. So now for placing roads, you should the later stages and end stages, you should not rely on anything bigger in your actual town blocks, as you can see, or my, my actual districts, my downtown districts, nothing larger than your actual large avenue. That's what I do. I place my large avenue, and I'm pretty happy with that. You know, for the elites, if you really want to show off and make the elites look really pretty and beautiful, you could go for uh, the wide, what is it, uptown, wide uptown avenue, okay? But the the maintenance cost is 50 credits instead of my 8 credits. So, uh, but it looks pretty, of course, and of course, it gives uh, that uh, landmark effect. I don't, uh, landmark or area effect. You know, quality of life improves, of course, with better roads. So this is in terms of roads. Maximum, at the end of the game, you should have, use uh, mainly large avenues, should be the artery of all your towns. As you can see, I have large avenues everywhere. I didn't even bother with uh, the actual... Uh, wide uptown avenue. I just placed uh, the typical large avenues. And these are the main arteries. And uh, it really depends on how you want to deal with the traffic. You can, of course, build expressways as well to connect the main things. Let's take a look at my traffic problems now. I'm going to click on my traffic. As you can see, I have main traffic problems here. Now, 
What you could do, of course, is build expressways instead of these. Like, I could have maybe, I don't know, two expressways. You know, for example, this is one of my main roads. So I could maybe build an expressway here and an expressway here and maybe one expressway here to ease the traffic a bit. Now, this is this is the, the, the tricky part in a way. Yes, I could ease the traffic a bit. Remember, expressways are going to cost me quite a bit. It's 160... Uh, uh, cars per minute but it's 18 credits per block so if i do build an expressway from here all the way up to here it's going to cost me just the, the road maintenance as you can see when i click on the road it shows me the road maintenance 108 credits per month but if i build an expressway this damn expressway is going to cost me nearly a thousand to two thousand is it worth it yes it might be worth it but uh when you reach the such stages i prefer to put down public transport this is where it kicks in Public transport should be sort of built when you're around the 30, 40,000 mark, you know, population. It depends, you know, sometimes I build it at 75, you'll see, you'll see how it goes with you. You know, you'll notice that they start getting pissed off quite a lot and, and, you know, you'll just see how it goes. You can watch my tutorials and you'll see, like, you sort of do get a feeling when public transport should be implemented. I do believe around the 30, 40,000 mark, you should at least place down at least one bus line, two bus lines to, to, like, really absorb the majority of traffic. You know, you start off with bus lines with the public transport and then later on you remove all bus lines and you replace them with the uh, metro lines you know but i usually keep at least still the bus lines for the unskilled workers now why i said i wouldn't place uh, expressways of course the easier it is for citizens to move around using your roads they are always going to pick the road instead of your actual uh, public transport so as you can see i did make it easy for them but i didn't make it comfortable for them to always use my roads so i am sort of forcing them to use uh, my public transport you know don't don't make it so pleasant uh, same thing you know you're gonna sit in a car if you know you can be down downtown in 10 minutes you know you'll take the car but if you know it's gonna take you like an hour to get there screw that you'll jump on your on the metro and you'll be there in like 20 minutes but you'll be in the metro same principle works here make it easy for them don't make it too easy you know this is this is what i work as you can see it's okay it's yellow i have a little bit of red i had before uh, only two roads if you'd be watching my playthrough so i built a few more to reduce the traffic it's still pretty heavy traffic but then again if i look at my metro lines look at my metro lines i have uh, the blue one it's at the largest metro line a double double deck metro and it's at 50 percent 49 percent and the other ones are at 73 percent with my smallest ones so that's that, that's not bad at all i'm having around 75 percent capacity so it's it's pretty good now in terms of uh, building your actual uh, public transport first thing you're going to obviously click is click on the transportation then you're going to click on public transport over here two buildings were appear which are already placed you're going to have the public transport service which is the bus company and then the next one is uh, the public transport service which is the metro company both of these of course are going to are going to cost you some money monthly monthly uh, maintenance cost and after you build these then you can build your stations now where to build your stations and how it's uh, practically simple try to cover as much as possible so for example i'm going to click on a bus station i'm going to go down to one of my bus lanes as you can see here it shows me i have a green bus line and i have a blue and i just built my green yellow and blue bus lines so and these ones are actually transporting all my workers to my farms and as you can see i placed it very nicely as you, when i move my mouse here as you can see all the houses around they do light up nicely light blue it means it covers all those houses so that dramatically cuts down the traffic that i have on the roads now it's pretty simple cover as much so for example what i did is i need to cover as much as possible when i want to transport my unskilled to my actual uh, to my actual uh, farm so i click here you know i already have three lines here as you can see i can't this bus has too many lines so i'd have to build another line this is just for demonstration sake as you can see i'm covering that by default so i'll cover this and uh, let's take a look down this is pretty good place and this so this pretty much now i have how many that i placed down i have one two three i placed down three stops and i literally covered all my skilled workers unskilled so now what i can do is i can place down on my farms so as you can see here it lights them up and here we can move it a little bit up maybe no down yeah there it lights up most of the roads and all the way there and once once you're done with that of course uh, then you go once you're done i move all the way back here and then i click on uh, the bus line and that creates uh, the bus line itself you can obviously play the in-game tutorial in terms of bus lines i'm not going to teach you how to place bus lines down okay now when to know how to place them i told you it's around 30 40 000 percent population it is key to place 
your public transport you got to use your public transport when you're hitting the middle and end game don't presume you can go without public transport you're not going to get far as as things are going to start requiring public transport that being your offices they need nearby passenger services you know and, and other buildings as well when you see nearby passenger services it means that they actually need public transport no matter how good the roads are they don't care they need public transport hotels as well need public transport okay business hotels need public transport so whether you like it or not you're gonna have to make a decision in the game when you realize that your economy is starting to sort of either crash or go slow on you is that it's time to implement public transport you will sort of get a feeling when you'll notice that you're not really expanding as much as possible but remember when you start public transport is gonna cost you some money so make sure you have a good cushion of I don't know 30 35 thousand you know it'll cost you around maybe 15 but it's always good to have a little bit more extra now in terms of metros Metro stations are actually the best in, in uh, terms of transport because they have the largest area coverage. Like, for example, one station, look how much it covers. Now, ironically, the metros, uh, when you move them down, they sort of have this uh, diamond shape, as you can see. They cover a, a sort of diamond shape. So, uh, in a way, if you really wanted to build the most effective way so the public transport would transport it as easy as possible, you can sort of build it in a diamond shape. So, like that, you can place the blocks which would perfectly cover all, all the sections you need. So for example, I'd have a diamond shaped here and when I put my metro in the center, it would exactly cover the, the whole of the populace in that location. But uh, in terms of metros, you place them, of course, where you cover as much as possible. Later on, I'm going to obviously expand this and I'm going to build probably four stations. As you can see, I already have quite a large area and I'm not covering quite a lot of things down. So I'll probably place one here and then one here and probably one here and one here yes so that again this would cover probably 90 percent of all my executives and now i'm talking i'd have 90 percent of all my executives with four metro stations now the cool thing to remember with metro stations is you don't need to build more you don't need to have every single metro station has its own has its own you can say arriving terminal you can have uh, the metro stations arriving different metro stations from different locations arriving at the same terminal let me show you here as you can see i have this this station is having two metro line number one and metro line number three as you can see i have two two actual stations two metro lines arriving to the same station let me give you another example here's my other example this one i actually is much later on in the game so i already had the experience i already learned from my mistakes so i really made it as efficient as possible of course i will refix that one again to make it as efficient as this one look at this i have three metro lines and all the three metro lines are hitting at the same station now of course it does take a little bit of practice and training because you got to move down and up the metro line so they hit the main station so for example if i want to build another metro line Let's uh, build another metro line, uh, just for example's sake. So I'd hit the metro, and then I'd probably hit one here. And as you can see, I move. If I move in, in parallel, and when I hit the other one, I can place it there as well. And if I can move down here, it doesn't allow me to. So you hold shift, you move your mouse a little bit down, so the station goes away. And then I'd place it here, it doesn't allow me to so let's try you gotta try at different angles for some reason sometimes you gotta go at it at different angles it might allow you to nope you know i did realize that there is sort of a, a limit on how many it really depends on how you position them and place them so you gotta really go at it at different angles and see see how you, you can actually enter this one so this one as you see didn't, didn't quite work out so you know that there might be actually a limit of how many stations you can throw in to one of these uh, uh, stations like how many additional uh, things you can put but as you can see here i can put one more so you just got to get the right angle so let's take a look at it now from a different angle and if i do place this down it'll go even below so it means i can have four four actual uh, lines on one of the stations so this is pretty a good way of course of saving up money you don't have to build of course uh, the different stations for each single line you have you can use the same station for different lines that you have so it really depends you gotta position your your uh, railroad i mean your metro lines under the ground in uh, in an effective process that's what i did here i sort of pre-planned it 
that's why I sort of did manage to get all three lines on uh, one station or on each single station, three lines on each single station. So now I'm not paying three different stations, I'm paying just the maintenance cost of one. But it has three lines in it, so, so that's pretty cool. This is another good thing to know that you can obviously link up more metro stations to a single line. And as you see, saw just there, I could place a fourth one, you know. So maybe this one I could not maybe go from down, maybe I could have tried it from a different angle, probably from here. This way would probably work, you know, just for example's sake, let's give it a go and see what happens. So let's go all the way there, shift a little bit down so we get rid of that uh, station and let's try it this way. Yeah, you see, it now works. So if I click and now I can continue. So again, you see there's a problem. So shift, try to move down, hold shift and move down. That's what I'm doing. I'm holding shift, I'm moving down. It means I can place it now. Now I can go around, hold on and uh, doesn't seem to allow me for some reason so yeah so you sort of do get the point you got to mess around with the metro stations to get it as efficient as possible try different angles try different entries and uh, pre-plan the metro station when you decide to place it down as you can see i did pre-plan it sort of the first two go in a way under each other as you can take a look i do have one under the other one so it's pretty cool you have two metro stations under under each other they are going in parallel and the other one goes sort of at an angle because it didn't let me go again under under the the second metro line so i had to sort of go at an angle and the other one i could maybe take it at a different angle so for example from here it would probably allow me to build that metro line now this is a later on in the game as you can see i do have no more bus stations at all I am really reliant on uh, my metro stations and again as you can see I'm not making it very easy for the traffic there's probably large traffic problems as you can see here red line but I'm not really interested to make it easy for them again I want to push them to use uh, the metro line and if I go to my metro line as you can see they are forced and as you can see I have medium carriages here already long metro lines not the small ones not the short I have medium I don't have the double but I have medium carriages here but I'm sure if I did build a larger road here and make it easier for them yes there would be less people on the metro so no i'm not interested to screw them let them let them wait in traffic as long as the metro line is a high in capacity it's it's pretty good it is efficient and it is pretty effective now in terms of uh, fuel fuel is pretty hard to get your actual unskilled to so uh, in terms of fuel i don't even bother building uh, bus stations anymore because you can't really pile them up together very much because the fuel do really make a large uh, large large dent in it so what i did of course i did build a secondary road to make it easier to, for the people to come to the fuel stations so if anything if i'd want to upgrade anything i wouldn't upgrade uh, the people i wouldn't upgrade the roads to make it easier for them to come to my main working area as you can see here i'd make it easier to come to the areas that are spread out so i would probably build an expressway here you know why because i want to make it easier for the people to come to these sort of spread out areas they are very spread out between each other and it's pretty hard so i want to i wanted to make it quicker and easier for them to get here instead of taking longer time so th this place would be sort of a good place to improve your uh, you can say uh, railroads and roads and uh, not railroads i mean roads and a public transport a public transport won't be very effective because it's spread out as i said so just improving your roads in general and this and this section would be good so this is really about it for the tutorial i hope you guys have learned a lot just to summarize it quickly uh, for uh, the public transport, you're going to have to move into public transport sooner or later, around the 30,000, 40,000 population mark. In some cases, I did even start off at 75,000, but you'll know when you're going to need it because uh, really the industries later on do require public transport. So, And uh, freight as well sort of counts as public transport, so that, that that's a good thing to keep in mind. No matter how how happy these people are they are going to need public transport and they will get pissed off later on so you got to place down public transport at the end of the game otherwise the roads it should be large avenues for the arteries and uh, really rarely or in my and i would recommend rarely use the the largest expressways i do believe it's called uh, because they cost a fortune and there's really no point you know i i force them like this to use my pl public transports and the layouts in general make it a four block maximum as you can see everything i have four block i do want to if i want to mess about just a little bit i can do it like this i split it up so i can fit more stuff inside services and leisures and so on and so forth and uh, that's about it for this tutorial as always give it a thumbs up if it did help you out leave some comments down below and uh do do look at my uh description in the actual uh, uh, video itself as there will be the links to the actual tutorial playlist which will continue being updated until i pretty much cover everything that this game requires happy gaming see ya